Hi class, my name is Mr. Vile. I'm your teacher for Language Arts 10A or Greek Mythology this year. I wanted to introduce myself and I wanted to show you the classroom as well as talk about what to expect this first week to alleviate some nervousness you might be feeling. If you're feeling anxious, me too. Nobody else has ever done this before in the history of the world. We're living through a pandemic, going back to school, either in a hybrid system or online, and we're doing it during a very big election with social unrest. If you're feeling anxious about it, that's totally normal. I want you to know every decision I'm making along the ways with grace and empathy to help you through it. Now, a little bit about myself. If you didn't have me as a teacher last year, um, I've been teaching 16 years. 12 of those years is public school language arts teaching, but I also taught music for a little bit, doing private lessons of guitar uh, when I was a full-time musician. I quit my job uh, when I was 30 and then played music, released records, uh, and, and toured. Uh, and now <laughs> I still play and I still perform, and it, I haven't been able to play any music during the pandemic. The entire tour was canceled, and uh, there I was watching my family, my kids, um, the reason I was a first-year teacher in the district is because I taught at Farmington Public Schools last uh, 2019, and they closed the high school. They went from three to two because of lack of enrollment, and they didn't need as many teachers. Ironically, I thought that was going to be the most difficult experience I'd have as a teacher, uh, losing my job and having to find a new one. Uh, and then here I am trying to figure out how do I make this experience that I like to have, where I like to be active and moving around, and how do I, how do I not keep it boring for you as we, we do it in a social distance classroom or online? I want you to know I'm still gonna try to find ways for you to bring your interests into the room, like Daviana playing the bass, or Brandon teaching the class how to uh, ride a unicycle. Um, a little bit about my family. I have two kids and one big dog, that's Lois. And Lois really loved having all this time with us during the pandemic, stuck at home. My wife is a full-time writer uh, and she works from home. And my two kids, Ginny and Al, that's Ginny when she was a baby and now that's her now at five. Uh, Ginny will be starting this year, her first year kindergarten online as her district isn't starting uh, until they kind of look at the numbers in the, in the county because uh, I live in Ann Arbor. Elton would have been starting preschool as a three-year-old. Uh, we will be keeping him home. Um, as he will have uh, child care at home for him and Ginny as Ginny's on school online. It's been a hard summer for them. Um, we weren't able to see a lot of people because we were protecting my parents who couldn't get the virus, as well as my wife's parents and then my wife's grandma, who was 91. She just died two weeks ago. Uh, Ginny and Elton didn't get to see any kids during this real entire summer while we tried to limit any risk exposure for the older relatives as we were only visiting them through July and August. Uh, we wanted to honor that time with, with their great grandma, my wife's grandma, uh, who was 91 uh, and had failing health from the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, and we wanted to keep the virus away from my dad and, and my wife's parents. So they, were, they handled this like troopers and um, it, it was hard though. It was hard for them to not be able to, to go to a playground and see some of their friends. Uh, and, and they did it really well. We had a big yard and, and we did it together. But I'm really excited to be here with you and not playing with Paw Patrol and Legos. Uh, I need a break. And I was watching my kids 10 to 12 hours a day while my wife was working. You know, we're missing a lot of family. I have family in Florida, Texas. And uh, we had, they had to cancel trips to see us as the virus was spreading throughout different states. And, and I'm missing them. And I know that many of you are going through that too. I know some of you have lost family like I have. So I, I just want you to know that we're, we're going to be making decisions to help you through this. If your computer goes out when you're online, I'm gonna be here to help you through that. Don't freak out. What does this classroom actually look like? If you're coming to class as a group A or group B, let me show you. So I've got the room set up in five rows of three. And I'm able to get these desks about four feet, three and a half feet apart. Um, I have two stations where I'll be teaching from to give the social distancing from me and you as I'm wearing a mask all the day uh, and you will as well. I'll be teaching from the whiteboard and I'll have a computer for those who are virtually uh, be able to see it. I also will be teaching from my slideshows as well. Uh, and I have a pretty smooth system where I can move in the room. And there's gonna be a lot of room for you between uh, yourself and other students. Uh, and just, just know that it, it feels pretty open in here. The classroom library I still have. Uh, if you want to check a book out, we still can. I just have to put time in uh, for things to get sterilized uh, between other students borrowing a book. Most of our learning though is going to be happening 
virtually online. We have an online textbook and we also have Google Classroom. I'm gonna be posting another video about how to get into Google Meets that's real short that I want you to watch. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for getting to know a little bit about me and I look forward to getting to know you either through the computer or in the room um, and try to get some sleep this weekend. You rock, bye.